hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're looking on for the first time welcome to shaman d's kitchen and if you like all the recipes that i've been sharing with you guys give me that thumbs up leave me a comment at the bottom remember to share subscribe hit that little notification bell so you would not miss out any of my new videos and if you want to see what i'm going to share with you today come on down with me and let's have some fun in my kitchen Today I'm going to share with you a barley and fish soup. I have the barley soaking here. And if you do not know what the barley is, that's what it is. I'm using some snapper. And these are the provisions that I'm going to use. We have here sweet potato, a couple of edos, green fig, of course carrot, sweet pepper, some okra here these are the green seasoning that i'm going to season up the fish with so i'll start by washing this fish and seasoning it up and while i'm preparing the fish i'm going to put this barley to start boiling and i will only add salt to that fish is all washed here now let's get the seasoning ready Everything is washed and chopped up. And this is how I season up my fish. I add all the ingredients in a bowl. The green seasoning there. Garlic is in there already. Black pepper. Paprika. Cayenne pepper, a pack of sazon, and I love cooking with sazon. It it gives the food such a lovely flavor, and of course, salt. Add all these ingredients together, and for all of you guys who follow me, there is one thing that is missing in here that I always add when I season any kind of meat some ketchup I just love the flavor that ketchup gives my food so this is what the paste looks like I'm going to coat each piece one at a time make sure it's nicely coated that and I'll continue coating the remaining pieces and come back to you this is the kind of green fig green bananas that we get here in the US and this is what we use to make our soup we don't have it nice and young like in Trinidad you would want to use gloves when you're peeling this because your hand will be stained up after you can put some oil as well but i just prefer using the gloves and that way my fingers are not stained green fig or the green banana is done and move on to peel up the edos and the sweet potato and guys you can add any type of provision you want it is your personal preference you can add dashing cassava whatever these are the three that i usually put in my soup i think using edos and cassava at once is too much of starch in there so I, if i use edos i do not use the cassava I 
I've transferred this barley, this bigger pot, and I'll add all these provision in here now. Chopped up onion, some green seasoning, salt, black pepper, hot pepper, and I have frozen pimento peppers that I'm going to add in here. Add the okra. And as soon as that okra gets nice and soft, I'm going to take it out because I do not want it to be mashed up in there. So I'm going to leave this here now, let it boil until everything softens up. And here I have my fish lightly coated with some flour. And yes, I do fry my fish when I make fish soup and that is a personal preference. You can add your fish without frying it. And guys, leave me a comment at the bottom if you fry your fish before or you just add it without frying it. Which one do you prefer? I forgot to add my fine thyme. So, it's not too late. In goes my chicken noodle soup mix. I'm gonna add some elbow macaroni because my hubby does not like the long ones he said it's hard to hold in the spoon i'm still gonna add some of this macaroni in it some red sweet pepper i did not put it earlier because i do not want it to melt here is the fried fish and i will add that into the soup in a couple minutes I'm going to take these okra out now because I do not want it to get mashed up in here. It's fully cooked and I will add it at the very end. I'm going to add some boiling water because as you can see it starts thickening there. gonna add a couple pieces of fish now I would not be adding all that I fried I have some fresh parsley and some green onions I'm gonna add back the okra in here now give it just a couple minutes and it will be finished and of course you need that piece of goldenry butter in there so there you have it guys my pot of barley and fish soup if you like this video please give me that thumbs up leave me a comment at the bottom share subscribe and don't forget to hit that little notification bell so you will be notified when all my new videos become available thank you for watching and see you in my next video stay safe have a blessed evening